this is Sukhdev Kapoor from Juniper Networks and uh, in this short video I'm going to uh, show you a demo of uh, uh, enterprise uh, private 5G uh, deployment using multi-cluster. Uh, this particular blueprint is uh, built uh, upon a Crano ICN blueprint and uh, in this we use uh, tungsten fabric as a CNI to provide multi-port support uh, for the parts to connect to multiple networks. But typically in ICN Blueprint, uh, uh, Multus is used to provide that functionality. But since the, uh, Tungsten Fabric CNI has a multi-port support, therefore we will use that to connect the parts to multiple networks. Uh, orchestrator in this case would be MCO, which is Enterprise uh, Multi-Cloud Orchestrator and the 5G core will be free 5G software. The physical setup is uh, essentially two clusters. Both are running Tungsten Fabric and Tungsten Fabric uses BGP control plane and data plane to provide the connectivity and the networking for all the services. And uh, MCO uh, is an orchestrator which is, uh, uh, which is on board these clusters and as well as orchestrates and deploys all the services. The setup is like this. Uh, on one cluster, we will run all the 5G uh, applications or components, you can say. And uh, cluster 2 will run uh, UPF and uh, a G Node B simulator. So the way these two clusters are uh, set up is uh, cluster 2 mimics the edge site where only the UPF and, uh, and the UE is running uh, or UE is available and uh, the cluster one mimics the core the core center where all the critical uh, applications are running. From the networking point of view, uh, the topology is all the 5G services, they connect to a pod network, that's a default network. And in addition, we use uh, N1, N2 network between AMF and uh, G Node B simulator to mimic the UE and uh, Net3 uh, between the, the UE and the, the UPF, N4 between SMF and uh, UPF and N6 uh, for the data network. So that's the basic uh, connectivity. And now let's go check the tungsten fabric and uh, we will see the basic networking. So all these networks are uh, created. Uh, so here is a, a N6, N3 and the default part network, N4 and N1, 2. So, so all the networking is ready. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, kickstart the, the deployment. So first thing to do is we go to the MCO's website uh, or the GUI, web GUI, and uh, we create a provider first. So let's call it provider, provider one, just at any name essentially. And once we create a provider, we need to import the clusters the two clusters which I talked about and we need to specify the configuration uh, for the cluster uh, which we are importing uh, and that has been added successfully. Now we add another cluster, let's call it cluster 2 and we provide the configuration for cluster 2, submit and now both clusters are onboarded. So at this point, uh, our deployment is pretty much ready to go. Now let's go into our clusters and uh, do a quick peek at uh, what's running. So if you notice the tungsten fabric, which is a contrail, uh, that's running and some base, uh, uh, basic uh, Kubernetes services are running. And uh, similarly, let's do here cube cuddle get points so same thing here so no 5g services are yet running 
The reason they're not running is because we have not instantiated them yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. So we just instantiated the UPF function. And now if we go back and, and check that, uh, we will see that the U, uh, UPF function is being created. And if we wait a couple of seconds and it's already running. And uh, now let's go ahead and instantiate the uh, 5G core. And that also got instantiated. And if we go back to our cluster one, that's where we did already up and the other ones are coming. So now everything is running. So at this point, we have uh, all the core services running. And the last thing which we need to do is instantiate simulator as well. And that's also done. And we can go verify at cluster two. That's where it is supposed to be running. And, and that's being created right now. And if we waited a few seconds, this should be running. Okay, there we go. So now at this point, we have everything uh, what we need. Uh, so the next thing is now we want to make uh, actually a simulated call. In order to make a simulated call, what we're going to need to do is uh, we need to create a subscriber. In order to create a subscriber, we need to go to uh, 5G web GUI and create a subscriber. In order to connect to the web GUI, we need to know the port. And to get the port, let's do this. Uh, we need to get cube cuttle, get services, grab web, okay. And the port number is 32605. So this is the port we are interested in. So now let's go to the web GUI 192 5 colon the port number 362605. And here we go. We are connected to the free 5G portal. And here, okay. So we are in, now let's go ahead and create a new subscriber. Uh, there are a bunch of values we can specify, but we'll, in this case, we'll just use the default value. So here we go. So we have created the subscriber. So now when we uh, launch a test call, simulated call, uh, we need to uh, tell the simulator uh, that this is the subscriber ID we are connecting. and. Uh, so at this point, we're ready to launch the test. So let's kick it off. The IP address of AMF, which is uh, 172.16.10.20. So essentially, uh, we are launching a test and specifying the address of AMF uh, pod. And here we go. So in this case, what will happen is we'll establish a session with uh, AMF and which will in turn create a, a tunnel from the UE to the UPF function and eventually the packets will start to pass through. And here we go. The test has gone through and and it's all passing. Uh, so essentially in this uh, demo, what we have uh, demonstrated is that we had uh, a two cluster set up where one cluster was uh, acting like an edge site, another cluster was acting as a core site, and uh, we managed and orchestrated uh, all of the deployment by using uh, MCO uh, orchestrator and we provided all the networking by using Tungsten Fabric. So that's pretty much uh, the, uh, the demo which I wanted to show. If there are any questions, feel free to ping me, Sukhdev Kapoor at Juniper Networks.